All right, one more to go. Last but not least is Corey Jenkins. Corey is a PhD candidate with Dr. Jonathan Wilker in the Department of Chemistry in the College of Science. Fun facts about Corey, she just got a new nephew yesterday, so she's a new aunt. If she were a new mom, we'd say she needs more sleep, but not yet. Congratulations. She's been to Iceland, and she loves to bake. Her title is Corn and Muscles Unite. Corey. We are surrounded by glue. Whether in the car you drove to get here today, the walls of the building around us, or the chair you're sitting in right now, all of these are held together at least in part by glues, releasing toxic reactive chemicals into the air we breathe. In fact, of the 20 billion pounds of adhesives produced in the US every year, nearly half contain formaldehyde, a chemical known to cause cancer. On top of that, most of these glues are petroleum-based and permanent, meaning the things they bind together cannot be disassembled for reuse or recycling. Instead, what we want is a non-toxic, strong bonding glue that can be easily broken down when we're done with it and made from renewable resources. Now that may sound like a tall order, but there's actually a material out there called polylactic acid that is non-toxic, can be broken down, and is made from corn, which is abundantly renewable, especially here in Indiana. The problem is that it just doesn't stick very well. So that's where we come in. I work in a lab where we've got huge tanks full of marine mussels like the one shown above. These animals make glue to stick to surfaces and each other for protection. Now we can mimic the chemistry used by these animals to make strong glues tailored to fit our needs. In this case, that means combining that chemistry with the renewable material polylactic acid. And in doing so, we can improve bond strength tenfold. Strong enough to hold up a pot of mussels, but more importantly, putting us on par with commercial products like Gorilla Glue. Now we can maintain that bonding for 30 weeks. That's over six months without any loss of adhesion strength. Then we can put that same bond in warm water at neutral pH, and in just 24 hours, we can decrease the bond strengths by half. And in a matter of days, we can fully break down the glue, like these images across the bottom, leaving just the materials that they were holding together. Those materials can then be reused or recycled rather than being put into a landfill. Finally, to see if our glue was safe, we grew a layer of cells on top of it and calculated how many of those cells survived relative to a control material. Initial studies show that our glue is non-toxic. So by combining the chemistry used by marine mussels to make glue and a renewable material, polylactic acid, we can make glues that are a safe, natural alternative to the toxic glue that surrounds us. Thank you.